than they are at ISIS or Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. It was remarkable to me that the New York Times mentioned the governor of Texas and the governor of, governor of North Carolina in connection with an ISIS attack and not the leader of ISIS. It's remarkable. Right, like, they, like their anti-LGBT efforts made Omar Mateen want to shoot gays as opposed to his radical Islamic ideology. Which he declared openly, pledging allegiance multiple occasions to ISIS. And so they're, look, they're saying, well, we don't really know what motivated him. Well, he said what motivated him. Yeah, we him. do. We know exactly. He said it. We have the tweets at the, and the Facebook posts at the beginning of the show. I, I pledge my allegiance to Baghdadi. America and Russia have to stop bombing the Islamic State. The real Muslims will never accept the filthy ways of the West. You kill innocent women and children by doing U.S. air sta- strikes. Now taste the Islamic State vengeance. There's nothing in here about... Uh, transgender people in bathrooms. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I so mean, it's beyond the pale. It's absolutely beyond the pale. We can have a gun control conversation. That's normal politics. But then when you begin to inject this element of vitriol, that's polarizing beyond anything that our political system is really supposed to withstand. And yet, you look right at the top, Dana, and it doesn't even feel like there's an effort to unify us right now. Right? I mean, there, there's been no invitation. I mean, even